Greetings, friends. I pray that this finds you well in your body and encouraged in your soul in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, as we considered last Sunday in 2 Peter, through our believing, through our trusting relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, we have been given all things that pertain to life and godliness. What's more, we have his precious and very great promises and that through them we get to participate in the very life of God. And so as we'll see this week, since we've been given all that we need, the Lord calls us to do something with these resources. And there are great blessings that accompany our doing so. We are living in difficult times, no question. There's bad news on many fronts. Isolation for some. Discouragement. But listen, Christian, take heart. Keep your mind renewed. Know the joy and the peace that comes with close fellowship with God and with showing love to others, right? Let's not become negative thinkers, right? Focusing on everything that is wrong all the time in our world. Let's be kingdom changers, positive thinkers, doing what Philippians 4, 8 and 9 says, where it says this, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whether whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And then Paul says this, What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. We all need more of that. Now, I want to give you two brief updates on a couple things. First, on the building project at Mount Comfort. Just last week, we learned that the Mississippi Nailbenders are not going to be able to come this September. They're disappointed, but just given the situation with COVID and how many of them are in retirement age and so forth, it's just not going to have a big enough force to be able to do it. They are still committed to us, however. And therefore, the building committee and the elders are in agreement that we should wait on the nail benders as they are committed to come to us again next May and June. In doing this, it'll save us at least $300,000, and it'll bless us by having that experience with them here. And it'll only extend the likely completion of our project by approximately six months. We think the six months is worth the wait and the savings of $300,000 and all the blessings of having the experience with the nail benders. Now, should, God forbid it, they not be able to come, then we are willing to look into hiring the work done. But let's just be thankful at this time for how the Lord has provided in great ways and pray that they will be able to come next May and June in the meantime, things are still progressing over on our site, and we will get the ministry center usable again uh, in the meantime as well. I want to give another update on the our gatherings on Sunday morning uh, as we still navigate uh, the COVID world. Apparently, there was a little confusion uh, about our modification to our first service last week. Masks, face coverings, whatever you want to call them, are still required for first service from the point of when you enter the building until you find your seat. And I know just today I timed it and a person can walk in and be at their seat within as little as 10 seconds. So it's not a huge burden. Okay, Once you are at your seat and not singing, you may remove your mask. Right? We've got enough room for distancing. We're going to keep that up in that service. But when you are walking around or when you are singing, then wear the mask in first service. If you do not wish to do that, then either attend the second service where masks are optional or choose the online service option. Right? We are going to continue offering a service where we are following the recommendations for the safety and the conscience of those who desire that. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or Pastor Darren. Although this has been a challenging season, 
our God has ordained it, right? And we have hope. We have a sure hope that we should be winsomely sharing with everyone. May the Lord give each of us opportunities and the courage to do so and to live in that hope. Grace and peace to you all.